It's the battle of the two biggest teams in the north today. Newcastle United against Gateshead FC. Oh, I'm excited about it. Let's see if we can turn them over in the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. Run the intro and let's get it. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of King of the North. And, well, you can see on screen right now, we are the lowest ranked team left in the Carabao Cup. The quarterfinals have already started with Liverpool qualifying and Crystal Palace turning Fulham over. And now it comes down to the biggest game of the draw. Gates at FC at home against Newcastle United. Since we last met against Ipswich almost two whole months ago, we have done nothing but win. Just ignore this 1-0 defeat and this draw. We have been playing some incredibly good football, winning game after game after game. And of course, the boy Virgil, he just keeps on scoring. And with this very, very impressive run of form, our league position is also fairly secure. We are now sitting top of Skybet League 2, 8 points in front, a huge goal difference. And Virgil, of course, is top goal scorer. Hopefully we can secure back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back promotions this season. And if I'm honest, it's looking very good so far. But enough about the league. No one cares about that today. It's all about the quarterfinal against the big boys. Newcastle United, led by Gattuso. It's going to be a battle of the hard cases. Well, not so much me, maybe him. But yeah, Newcastle United, huh? And just looking through the transfers, they have spent a huge amount of money. £199 million spent in the first season. They've got Lucas Digne, they've got Antonio, who else have they got? Jeremy Borger on the wing, they've got Arturo Vidal on a free from Inter, that's a good signing. They've also got Ronnie Edwards from Peterborough for 5.5 million. You would not put him in this list, would you? Then the following season, they have spent 126 million, so this is the season we're in now. They've signed Jason Steele, of course, a world-class goalkeeper, I'm sure you'll all agree. <laughs> not. But they've dropped big money on Ibanez from Roma, arguably one of the best centre-halves on this year's FM. He is, well, he's going to have his hands full with Virgil Gomez today. But when you look at Newcastle United's form, they are there for the taking. They have lost four out of their last five games. Admittedly, they have played some of the big boys, but this could be our chance. Gates at FC could cement themselves as the best team in the northeast of England. And it's going to break my heart to do so, because I am a Newcastle fan, but for today... Bollocks to them. Come on, Gateshead. And the squad for today pretty much picks itself. It is our best 11 that I've found so far this season. We're just going to swap Smith and Brecken over there. Chapman in goal, Tinkler, Bajrami, Humphreys and Pye at the back. McLeod, Smith and Brecken in the middle. Right on the right, Mather on the left and Gomez up front. It's a huge game. Can we do it? Well, we're not going to change any mentality. We're going all out attack at home against Newcastle. All of those millions against our squad that cost absolutely nothing to assemble. Let's get to kick off and see what we can do. So, the biggest game of the series so far kicks off. And there's an early corner for Gateshead. McLeod whips it in. There's Bezromi. Oh, he's headed it over. Look at all the fans who've turned up for today's game. The stadium is packed. And I wonder why. Are oh, Newcastle playing a weakened team? Well, I didn't get a chance to see it there. But we might have a chance to go 1-0 up here as we have a free kick. Who is going to take it? Who is this guy? It is McLeod, known for his long-range shooting. He shoots over the wall. Oh, just over the bar. Two early chances, though. We Surely we can't beat Newcastle as well. We've already beaten Man United this season. We can't beat Newcastle as well. They've got Marco Asensio playing. They've got Raul Jimenez up front. This is ridiculous. Look at that great ball through. There's Raul Jimenez, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, what a save by Chapman. Unbeatable. What a save. A quarter of an hour gone. And if I'm honest, the game is fairly even. Tinkler, with the throw now, finds McLeod, but Lau nips in and gets it. Inside on his right foot. Is he going to curl it in? He beats everyone. Fires it over the ball. Dreadful finish. And I can guarantee he's on about 80 grand a week and he couldn't hit the net from inside the box. Dreadful. 25 minutes and Newcastle have a corner. They fire it in towards the back post. It's bouncing everywhere. It looks like it's going to be a penalty. The assistant has his flag up. And Humphreys was penalised for fouling Jimenez. Now, can Chapman be a hero? Can he save a penalty from Raul Jimenez? 25 minutes in. Come on, Chapman. He dives. Oh, he should have saved it. That was so close. But Newcastle go 1-0 up. 
that's downheartening, but it's not the end of the world. The penalty then, Raul Jimenez slotted in. Chapman looks very small in this goal, but he should have really saved it. That is a shame, but there's a highlight pretty much straight after the goal, and it's Newcastle United building out from the back. Lucas Digne, my, my days, they've got some good players now, haven't they? Much improved from Lascelles and Kieran Clark and Co. What a pass that is to Asensio. Marcus Antonio now plays it back to the defender. They are just playing lovely football, but Gomez! Go on, Gomez, he steals the ball, he's inside the box. Shoot, Virgil, shoot. He gets he gets pulled wide, plays it back. There's Matha. Can he get it into his right foot and shoot? McLeod, edge of the box. Oh, Lewis McLeod, it's 1-1. One, one. It's bloody 1-1. One, one. Lewis McLeod has fired it into the top corner. Absolutely magnificent. What a goal that was. Fantastic hold up play from Gomez. Of course, I was screaming for him to shoot, but he knew better than me. McLeod, edge of the box, one touch, fires it in, top corner, come on, it's 1-1, one, one, man. There's yet another highlight in this very busy first half, and we have a free kick within shooting range again. Here's McLeod, can he get two? Oh, just over the bar, just over the bar. McLeod is having a stormer here. 7.7, 7.8 now, 7.7 .7 now, <laughs> and everyone else is playing, well, bang average. We're going to encourage the team, but there's a corner for Newcastle. Alonso whips it in back post, but we head it clear. And Asensio is going to pick up the loose ball. Lovely little turn on the ball there. Can we intercept? Digne now. Jovan, Dejani. They've got some fantastic players. It's not really fair that we're playing against them. But hey, we are holding our own. 1-1. One, one. Can we get the ball back? It's not looking likely at the moment. As Lau is on that right wing. Plays it back to Lodi. Fires it in. Oh, what a save that was by Chapman. Tipped round the post. Fantastic save. My days. The resulting corner then from that excellent save is fired in. And it's headed around and Renan Lodi has put it in. It's 2-1 to Newcastle. What a shame that was. Chapman missed the ball a little bit there. Maybe he's just not good enough to play against this opposition. And to be honest... That's no shame, really, because, you know, we are playing against arguably the best team in the north at the moment. As Lodi fires in the header, it's 2-1. Ah, never mind. Half-time is approaching. It's time to regroup, encourage the boys, and see if we can do something. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is possibly the worst thing I've ever seen on this computer screen. Virgil Gomez. It's picked up an injury. What is it? It is a lower leg injury. Oh my days. If he's injured, our season's knackered. Looking at the bench, there's only really one person who can fill in Virgil Gomez's boots. And that man is, of course, Bright Amawatang. We haven't seen him for a long time. He is still average. He's got 12 goals in 30 games for me throughout this save. Can he score against Newcastle United? Well, we'll have to find out. We'll confirm that sub get into half time and try not to cry <laughs> and you know what i'm going to agree with manzukic my assistant here i am happy with the performance i think we're playing quite well all we need is one lucky break lordy with the ball now for newcastle and building out from the back 50 minutes on the clock half time's been and gone can we get the ball back can we steal a chance early in the second half they are passing it amongst themselves at the back lovely triangles there and now they are pushing forward with Raul Jimenez, keeping the ball well, but not well enough as Bajrami gets it. Bright Amo Teng plays it through to Smith. Go on, Smith, can you get there? Smith gets there first. Great save. Get the rebound. Shoot, shoot. What are we doing? There's right. Get the get the shot in, man. What are we doing? Oh, it's bouncing everywhere. It's headed clear. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. Some better composure there, and that would have been 2-2. Final half an hour then. And I have to be honest, we are playing pretty well. I think it's time to make some changes as our lads are, well, they're knackered. We're going to make some subs and see if these changes can make a bit of a difference. We are going to get a Brecken off the pitch. We're going to bring on, who are we going to bring on? Let's bring on James Vennings. We're also going to bring on Greg Ollie. Why not? Tyreek Wright has done next to nothing on that right wing. And all we need is one free kick. As we all know how powerful and how accurate Ollie's free kicks are. With 20 minutes left to go, we're going to encourage the boys... And hopefully we get to see one more chance. Coming up to the final 10 minutes. And we're seeing a highlight for the first time in a long time. Is Newcastle have it building out from the back yet again. 
We are trying to press to get the ball from them, but they are just proving to be that one step too good for us at this moment. Their centre-half has it now, but Smith steals in. Come on, Smith. Can we get an equaliser? That's a penalty. Surely, referee. It is a penalty. Oh, my God. It's a penalty. Final 10 minutes. And who is stepping up to take it? With Virgil Gomez not on the pitch, I have no idea who's going to take this one. They've just lost a man. Who's taking it? It is McLeod. Of course it is. Our best player of the game so far. Can he double his tally? McLeod with the penalty. Runs up. He shoots. Oh! Oh my days, it's saved. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my days, it's saved. In the final couple of minutes, we're going to make another couple of changes there. With Smith coming off, with Zotos coming on on that right wing. Oh, it's heartbreak. Absolute heartbreak. Oh, Newcastle going to get a third now. Is Lordy, Willick. Oh my days, what a strike that is. Rick Korsdorp has scored from miles away. Chapman has had a shocker again. It went straight through him there. Oh, I can't believe it. From us having apparently the chance to equalise 2-2 to Newcastle United coming down the other end of the pitch. Korsdorp completely unmarked. First time Chapman, come on man. Should be doing better than that. It's 3-1 and it looks like our Carabao Cup journey is coming to an end and there we have it then boys 3-1 defeat against Nicasia United and it's not too disheartening you know I think we played quite well we were underdogs we gave it our best shot and at some stages of that game we honestly looked like we deserved to be there Mario you can deal with the press today I can't be bothered but that could have been something special if we'd scored that penalty you never know 2-2 two -two, we go to penalties I would fancy our chances however it has ended in defeat we are out of the Carabao Cup, but we should be very proud of ourselves. So with that heartbreak then, our attention turns to the league, which of course we are top of. For our next episode, I think I'll play through all of January, see if I can get any new faces in, as our squad is starting to be depleted a little bit with injuries and tiredness. But we will come back for the Shrewsbury game. They're currently sat in fourth, which so should be a good game. And if all goes well, we could be extending our lead even further. Eight points ahead now. Who knows how far ahead we'll be at that stage. Anyways, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please do drop a like, consider subscribing, take it easy, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.